which is amazing because I stopped ovulating about 15 years ago. But this is <laughs> right. um, I'm living in the middle of the bush in Tasmania, and so whenever I see that many paces, I think they're all possums. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird coming into town because I realise that I have these moments, you probably have them as well, at least once a week where I just think something's terribly wrong, where you just feel completely confused, where suddenly things don't make sense. So I wanted to get a tan for tonight. So I'm walking down Sydney Road, Brunswick, and I think, oh, I'll just try and find a tan. I don't know where to find a spray tan, but then all of a sudden I see a sandwich board that says Byron Tan, right? Byron Tan, perfect. I will go in, I will get a tan, and I will look as if I'd been to Byron Bay. I walk in there, I don't look either side, and I say to the woman behind the desk, I would like a tan. She looks at me like I farted in her face, right? <laughs> so I say, I want a tan. She then points to the wall where there's a certificate that tells me that Byron Tan is a Chinese accountant. <laughs> And it's the same in some in food. I grew up in Ackland Street in Adelie. I'm a food slut. I eat around anywhere. Now food has become so pretentious, so overdone, so written about. You open up every weekend colour magazine and there are food reviews. Food reviews. Bouncy peas cavorted around the central oh. totem of beef. <laughs> They're peas. They don't cavort, they're peas. <laughs> you can't have potatoes, you can't, it's not really called mashed potato anymore, it's potato mash. <laughs> you notice, potato mash. And then you can't just have a potato, no, there's Nicola and, and Deborah and Kifla and it's like a bunch of drag queens got together and became <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> and when you have the potato mash, you, it's not like with butter, because you can't have butter. No, 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 no. It's like something's got whale sperm through it, or truffle oil, or something, something illegal. And it's the same with everything. Even with relationships are difficult. It used to be that you met someone, you liked them. Most of the men I meet are comedians, and I have a policy never to get romantically involved with other comedians, because I'm scared in a moment of ecstasy I might give away all my material. <laughs> And I can't do Tinder or Grindr or Uber. I don't know how to do all those. I'm waiting for the app that's for the middle-aged woman who still believes in the promise of undying love. It's called Loser, L-O-S-R. <laughs> but how can we be romantically involved? We're not connected anymore. Then we're not even connected to our bodies either. Do you know we have breast augmentation, rhinoplasty, nose, plastic surgery, there's so many parts of our body. Do you know what the most popular form of plastic surgery for women is today? Do you know? You won't believe this. Labia enhancement, yes. Labia tears. <laughs> Labia. People are looking at pictures of women in pornographic magazines with these perfect vaginas. Nobody's got a perfect vagina. You have children through them. You use them. You bend up and down. Who wants, they want perfect. These women want perfect symmetrical vaginas. Symmetrical, perfect, like vertical blinds, snapping like this. <laughs> because men and women are looking at porn and the guy is saying, why isn't your vagina like that? You know why? Because that is a man who had a sex change. That's why. <laughs> What's going to happen next? They're going to get Jamie Jury to put a water feature in there. <laughs> there is a water feature in there, I just forgot. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you.